It's morphing talk. Yes. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Morning Talk. It's me Riza. And I am Miri. Here we want to talk about morphology and the use of prefix, suffix, and the last is multiple affix section. Hold on. Are we, are we not going to talk about this company at first? Exactly. We are going to talk about him. Actually, about his defined album in morphology. Okay, Louis Capaldi is a newcomer in singer. Maybe some people that don't recognize him, but who doesn't know the song of him? Title Someone You Love. Before we talk a lot about it, we have invited morphology expert to discuss Capaldi album today. All right. I present you, Mr. Deddy Sulaiman. Hello. Hello, Mr. Deddy. How are you doing today? I'm feeling well today. I like Friday. Oh, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, please have a seat. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Deddy. Thank you. 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 Mr. Lady is our lecturer in this semester. Hmm. Uh, so, before we go into the topic, so may I ask you hmm. about why you love morphology, phonology, or maybe linguistic to be more precise? Okay, that's a good question. Thank you. Um, yeah, I like linguistics since I was in my senior high school. Because uh, when I was in my senior high school, I choose um, language as my department. Then I entered a bachelor degree by taking linguistic and then master degree in linguistic, also my doctoral degree in linguistics. So I have to teach phonology, morphology, and this is my work. Uh, I like linguistic, I teach linguistic, and I learn linguistic. Wow, that sounds really good. Mm. The language. Mm. Explain it. Okay, because today the topic for our discussion is about Louis Capaldi. We will briefly tell you about who is he and his first album, Difficulty, and inspired to a hardly extent. Louis Capaldi. He was born 7 October 1996. He is Scottish singer, songwriter, and a musician. On 17 May 2019, he released his debut album, Defendly and Inspired to a Hellish Extent, and Someone You Love was the best selling single of 2019 in the UK. Okay, the next is this album history. The final I'm inspired to a hellish extent is the debut album by the Cavalli through Vertigo Records in Europe and Capital Records in the US and distributed to globally in globally by Universal Music. It included the top ten single Grace. The UK and US number one single, Someone You Love, and the album's lead single, Hold Me While, While You Wait, among several songs previously included on Capaldi 2018, Bloom and Bridge. Okay, we move to the main topic. Uh, sir, can you, mm. before we go to traffic and suffix, mm. can you give us 
uh, of your opinion about the poverty in general. Okay, uh, it would be nice, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, uh, in this semester, I applied uh, the case study method for my teaching. What is it? Case, uh, case study. Case study means that this morphology is not taught directly to the students uh, theoretically, but uh, it applies the theory into the case. It means that we have many songs, you know the album, so we are going to analyze the song or the album uh, by morphological analysis. Uh, that is why I am not teaching about the theory of morphology, but uh, directly apply the theory to the song or to the morphemes and morphological analysis in our society. Because, uh, you know, your time in millennial, uh, it, uh, near to your song, this is your era, yeah, like Louis Capaldi, I don't know, uh, because this is a different era, but now I know him, and you introduce him, and then you explain about him, so I would like to analyze the morphological analysis within the song, that is uh, morphology in general. Oh, I see. Mm. So that is morphology. Mm. So how about the prefix and suffix? Are it only give suffix to the word? Okay, um, that is right. Um, uh, morphology is the writing system. Uh, it consists uh, the morpheme, the bound morpheme, free morpheme, and of course what you said about prefix, uh, suffix, yeah, we are going to analyze the morphological, theoretical framework uh, within the song. Into is a one word, one of them. Um, two, two is also, I mean, uh, in English we have in, okay, and then in English we have two, but uh, in this word into, into is one word. This is the three of them, okay, so yeah, uh, this uh, prefix. Into is one prefix. The word into is one prefix. Like four words, we have four. Like before four word, uh, we have word. But four word is one word. Okay, this is uh, called by compounding. So um, when you analyze this into word, it must be one of them. One of them. Mm -hmm. uh, about work really also free market uh, really okay this is a uh, good well um, let's see I am going yeah I am going going would be uh, two more things in the words going because we know go going is from go go and then pass in this is uh, categorized into inflectional suffix uh, because uh, this is to show the simple present continuous. Okay, I am going. So going here uh, consists of two more terms. Under and this time I feel less 
no one to save me, this all or nothing, really. Yeah, when you highlight really, uh, really consists of two more terms, like what you said, real and li. Li uh, is to show uh, adverb, really. Yeah, I mean, um, the, the root one could be uh, real. Okay, you, you, you highlight real is a root and li is suffix. The next song is resist. We find the word colder and better. If you don't use the suffix in a word, will it change the meaning of the sentence, sir? Uh, not really. Uh, colder, yeah. Um, because colder has two morphemes, cold and er, the suffix here is comparative. So er doesn't change the meaning. Uh, I mean, you know the meaning in English meaning. Cold uh, is adjective and colder still adjective. Uh, it is different from er in drive. Drive and driver. If drive, it is a verb, uh, verb and driver is a noun. So the er changes from verb drive and driver to be a noun. So it changes the meaning. But here, cold is an adjective. You, you can imagine the meaning cold. And colder still adjective. And the meaning is still the same. Still the same. So uh, it doesn't change the meaning. Uh, it's just to show the comparative. new to me because this mm -hmm. doesn't change the meaning. Mm -hmm. And then in the next song, Hollywood. There are words ahead in Hollywood. Can you explain the use of prefix A and all in this word? Well, um, yeah, in this Hollywood, if you can hear me, does, yeah, does has two more things. Okay, although you didn't highlight does, does has two more things. The first is do, and the second more thing is us. As you know, like, uh, she likes us, uh, is to show the third singular. Does also the same, it refers to the, to the third singular. Does it really have to end? I feel you close, although. Okay, although is one word and one more term actually, because um, uh, when you see this is all prefix, uh, not prefix, because all we we know all as a word, uh, all students, all lecturers, all teachers, and although um, is one word, we cannot uh, separate although into all and though because um, it has different meaning, okay? Different meaning. So, uh, like, you know, butterfly. Butterfly is one word. Yeah, uh, it, uh, we cannot divide butterfly from butter and fly. What is butter? What is fly? And butterfly is different. So, please uh, be wise to analyze the morphological analysis based on its meaning as well. Meaning, I mean, if you know butter is something else and fly is something else and you know butterflies has the, the meaning, so butterfly couldn't separate into butter and fly. Also although, okay, although, because you know though and all, uh, if we combine, okay, the meaning is although. And you know, prefix had uh, a head. A head also one uh, one word alone. Yeah, we cannot divide alone to be a uh, and alone. Alone. Head. We know head. We know a. Uh, but we cannot divide or separate a uh, head to be a uh, and head. Okay. A uh, head is one word. A uh, head. Go ahead. Uh, not uh, from a uh, is a uh, and head is head. Okay. This is one word. Next, uh, to our focus, didn't take a second, uh, to notice 
Now we have a separate tea, there is a German film separate and eat by Ocean, yeah, Ocean, Ocean, and us. Yeah, that, uh, it consists of uh, two metal films. Well, uh, before you are going to the next one, I would like to explain about the theoretical uh, framework about the previous slides. You know, the prefix and then suffix. So uh, we can now what kind of prefix. Let's see, uh, next, yeah. this is the first, okay? Prefix and meaning. You know, prefix is a letter or group of letters that may be added to the beginning of a word in order to modify its meaning. Uh, okay, so we have uh, some aspects. Uh, the first, this is a letter or a group of letters that may add it uh, to the beginning. So if you know this is to the beginning, so this is called by prefix before. Pre mean before. Prefix before the words. And to modify its meaning. Uh, you know, uh, the example is man, an, im, im, il, ir. Okay? And the writing system you have to notice this is you have to write by adding hyphen. So, an hyphen. If this is an hyphen, it means this is prefix. You know, uh, like miss, miss hyphen, so the word miss, the morphine miss is a uh, prefix. Uh, like able, uh, the word able, uh, able is a word. I am able to do something, that is a word. One of them. But compatible, respectable, there is ball as a suffix. So, as a suffix, we have to write by hyphen and able. It is a mother. Okay? Um, uh, you know, this is the meaning. The meaning of prefix uh, is called by it contains the meaning, not only the meaning. Because uh, like nonsense, unhappy, in English word happy, and then unhappy, uh, unhappy is the opposite of the word like happy. And then the, okay, you have to re and then hyphen, the meaning is again, or bad, deficit, replay, miss, wrongly, misunderstand, and then the, reverse or remove, or out of. Destruction. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, what you said in the word really. Uh, really could be real and be, although we know that really is one word. Uh, we know as Indonesian, as uh, uh, native Indonesian, really is one word. As I said, that uh, for us, the word masjid for Indonesian is one word. One more friend, masjid. But for Arabic, it consists of two more friends. Masjid is from am um and sajada. Am um is to show place. Am um to show place. And sajada is to perform sujud. So masjid for Arabic uh, mind, there are two meanings. The first is am, um, place, and sajada, sujud. So masjid is the place to perform sujud. And also musola. Musola for us, musola is one word, one more thing. But for Arabic, am um, is to show place and sola is to perform sola. Also, this is distraction. A uh, D means reverse. But uh, if you know distraction, what is the meaning of distraction? Yeah, but distraction uh, is uh, integrated into one word. But this uh, D means is to reverse. Like um, department, is there any parchment? Uh, we know parchment or parchment parts are uh, like place, port, uh, export, import, transport, uh, port itself. But, uh, trans, you know, transport, uh, import, or export, port has the meaning. But we know uh, this one is one, uh, like one word. And then go or come with or together. 
computer, computer, computer or coordinate chair, cooperation, yeah, we are together, power home construction. This and the the separation disease, disease. Okay. And next after prefix we have a um, suffix. Okay. Let's see the meaning. A suffix is a letter or groups of letters added to the ends of a word. Suffix since are commonly used to show the part of speech of a word. Okay. Since this is a suffix. I mean, this is at the end of the word, the end of the word. Like ER here, like what I said, uh, drive, driver, teach, teacher. The ER or or, the meaning is one who or showing a comparison. Teacher, uh, from teach a verb, teacher is a noun. But faster, yeah, fast is adjective, faster, still adjective, but it shows the comparison. This is evil and evil, capable of being unforgettable. And remember, uh, like what I said, able could be one more thing, I am able to do something. But able here, uh, by this hyphen, it means this is something. Unforgettable, credible, what is credible? Yeah. So this is credible. And then add, uh, forming the past tense, like added, yeah, loved, or having quality of means uh, this is the objective or the past uh, perfect tense. And then in form of uh, forming a gerund, meaning act of or the present participle, meaning joking. And then one is to show the state of the result of an action. Appointment, government, and the last, if having the quality, create, creative. Having the quality of means this is a chapter. Well, that is the my explanation. You can go to the next songs if you would like to analyze. So, for the next song is me. The title is me. Mm -hmm. uh, in the in the word so so we there is a suffix l y mm -hmm. b. Yes. Can they use of l y or b? Suffix will be the same as the use of the suffix in the word of sloppily and what about the word Allen? Because after the original word added to suffix en or n change the word place. Okay. Um I think the morphemes or the suffix ly or li has the main function. I mean this is the same. Li, <coughs> sorry, li is to show adverb, okay? The morpheme or the suffix li at the ends of the words, uh, it must be adjective, commonly like learn, saw, lay, are adjectives. When we add li here, it becomes adverb. I think this is very common and uh, maybe you have studied in grammar the adjective, Plus we it becomes uh, adverb. I think what you ask is it the same? Yes. Uh, I believe that this is the same. Lonely, solely, lately uh, would be the same. They are adverb. And now uh, you ask about expectation. Yes. Okay. Yes. Expectation here. Yeah. Expect. Uh, the word is expect. Uh, this is a uh, verb and this is Asian. And this is interesting, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, see the change, the morphology and phonology, because uh, it relates to sound. You know, like uh, expect plus Asian, not expectation, but expectation. Conclude, not conclusion, conclusion for English. Device, the uh, revision, revision. And uh, the word like clarify, not clarifium, but clarification. So there are um, morphological phonological changes. Uh, this is the relation between morphology and sound. 
we now are uh, like in Tajwin, uh, non Mati or Tamwin or non Asian. In English, non Mati or Tamwin uh, called by non Asian. Non Asian. Yeah, that is the change. Like uh, this sound, uh, meet the sound, it will be the different. Expect, expectation, explain, explanation. There are many changes. And this is right. What you are asking, expectation is uh, two more things. They are expect and okay, For the next song, mm -hmm. uh, this is the one to start uh, our group, mm -hmm. loneliness. Okay. So we find the multiple fixation. Yes. The first is woman, that's the rule. Mm -hmm. And the second, lone, noise, li. Yes. Um, lonely. Mm -hmm. Still adjective. And the uh, third is lonely, plus ness. Become loneliness and it's changed from adjective to noun. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give an opinion about Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is true what you said. This is multiple uh, some fixation, a fixation that it consists of three morphemes here. Uh, loneliness consists of lone and then the and then this. And then in English, this is impossible to have the word loneliness. Loneliness. This is impossible. So, this long adjective you said, and then we have to add V to become adverb, and then when we have to make it a noun, we just add ness, so loneliness. So, the process of the affixation would be adjective, adverb, and then the last is noun. Long, and then lonely, and then loneliness. It could be, uh, it could, it couldn't be the same like lone and then re and then less. Uh, we have to lone and then lonely and then loneliness. That is the three diagram, the three diagram. Okay, next to the next section. Mm -hmm. uh, Q and A. So we get, we got a question from Instagram. Uh, here, from Rafi Faria. Hmm. Uh, in a song I will hold me while you wait and wake up saving all my precious time. So he asked us, hmm. uh, the word precious, it, uh, one word or multiple subjection because he Mm -hmm. uh, for word price, the root is price, mm -hmm. and it's changed to prices. Uh, Aiden, shares. Mm -hmm. Can you give some explanation about it? Well, um, yeah, I uh, you know, os, uh, okay, os is a morpheme. Os is a morpheme, and it shows adjective. So, all words in English ended by O's is adjective. Right, right years, okay? And right years. And then all words in English uh, ended by this O's is to show adjective. So, this is right. Uh, let's see when I explained the destruction. D mean uh, reverse. But what is fraction? Is there any word fraction? But D has the meaning of reverse or decrease. So precious means uh, uh, pre or uh, pre or price, please. Yeah, that is the root. Okay, the root and years is uh, the suffix. Uh, it shows the adjective. Okay, so if the noun or adjective uh, have to change to the adjective, yeah, always is the one. Okay, so next to the last question mm -hmm. from Hana Mutia underscore 22. 
So the song I know before you go mm-hmm. is by do we cover the game different album? So before you go, was there something I could have say to make it all stop party? Mm-hmm. It kills me. How your mind can make you feel so worthless. So before you go, mm-hmm. so the other line work. It's also. Uh, Two more frames. Two more frames. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Worthless uh, consists of two more frames. The first is worth, and then the second is less. And I think in English this is very common for us to hear what meaningless and then careless. Yeah. Less means uh, decrease the lack of that is less. Uh, and uh, less uh, careful, careless, yeah. Full is for positive and less is for negative. Meaningful, meaningless. Careful, careless, okay? Worthful, probably worthless. And this less uh, has the function to show the objective as well. Yeah. Or worthless is to show that this is objective. I think so. Okay, thank you sir for the spotify and also answering the Q&A. Okay. Well, the time is up and maybe this is our end of conversation. Hope we meet again soon. Thank you for being our guest for the episode 2. Oh wait, 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 wait. Before we close our talk show today, let's see the performance for the special segment today. May I present you this special performance? Forget about the present